What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and we are back in Bashim's base, so this is, okay, like right when I'm doing my intro, we, this video was recorded, um, before yesterday's video, but I am releasing it today because I didn't think we needed multi Bashim's base videos in a row, like I didn't, I didn't think we needed that, so I decided to just, you know, not have that multi-days in a row. I need to use that debuff more. I don't know when's the best time to use that. I really don't know, but I do need to use the debuff more than I do. Because, like, this, that debuff is so good. It just makes, a, it just melts them. But I've been trying to incorporate a few more skills into the arsenal. I need to get back to that skill. And there's actually a combo with that skill that I need to start doing. Um, it's, it's a real easy skill to use, which is why I say I need to use it more. It's just X. It's just um, LT and X. And that's it. I'm, or not LT and X. LT and RT. And I mean, that's easy enough to use on its own. I don't... I mean... It's an easy skill to, to do in the rotation, but the thing that I want to do with it is to do the Soul Harvest with it. So, it has a fast cooldown. Well, the Soul Harvest doesn't, but... Okay, hold on. Let me get this set up. So, let's see here. Clear out some enemies so I don't have to do it on, like, a bajillion enemies. Okay. So, okay, can we chill for a second? There we go. So there we go. You do the soul. You do the you do the LTRT, and then you do LTA, and it does soul harvest, which is a decent attack. It's just another skill to add into my rotation, so it's not just a bunch of spamming. Sometimes I fail it still. I don't have the timing quite down on it yet because I just added it like today when I started. Actually, I didn't even. I I've only been doing it for like an hour, so. I haven't completely added it into like a rotation, but I still need to work on it. Why is it doing that? See, I'm not even, I don't even have the timing quite down for the LTRT. It's kind of a little bit finicky for me. I just got to work on the timings, which, you know, with me farming like three hours a day to try to get ready for Kama Sylvia. Um, it is going to result in me figuring a lot of this out, which is nice because I definitely need it. I definitely need to figure some of this out. I just, <laughs> I just tried to use a skill. Oh, uh, that wasn't, wasn't, I, I tried to use the flow, but I messed up the first part of it. So I just jumped like an idiot. But that's what I'm really working on right now is just getting... Trying to get the spells or the skills down so that I don't just spin to win the entire time. Essentially, that that's the goal. And I've been trying to I know I said that I like did this stuff a lot, but I don't actually. So I've been trying to incorporate it a little bit more. Switching back to my amulet. And I really like the attack that switches me back into my um back into my scythe. I think it works out real it pairs nicely so i've been trying to use that and i've been trying to use the debuffs a little bit more just to, it's real simple just use the debuff and then immediately switch into this should melt them a little bit faster but yeah just stuff i gotta practice and we'll work on it as we go here up into camis sylvia and, and beyond because obviously i'm not gonna get this down not gonna get this down before that comes out. Still got plenty of stuff to do in regards to figuring out what the heck I am doing with Sorceress and all the rotations. Because I still I still like the uh, I still like my spin the wind, so can't really can't really take that out of me. I still I still gotta do it from time to time. But trying to add in other other stuff so i'm trying to kite this is what i have been doing is trying to kite guys down here because i've been trying to carry less potions with me because i think if i just played the smarter i shouldn't need them 
and I really shouldn't, but it's uh, it's a little interesting. And with this skill, uh, I figured out that there's another skill that if I hold A with it, it will last longer, and it will re it'll it'll regenerate shards of darkness. I believe we'll take a look at it here in a second. I should be close to finishing this up. Yeah, I I did. I went ahead and finished up. We had 13 of those, so let's go ahead and run on back. We'll let this person have the farming spot. Worked out worked out well. That guy can take my farming spot because I no longer need it. I think he's been farming this road. So now he can have the he can have the full rotation. So let's go up here and turn these in and then I'll show you guys the skill. But that's what I've been working on the most is just working on trying to get a little bit better with skills. I know it's not been, it's not been the pretty. Oh my gosh, I hate this spot right here. Cause you have to like, you have to like jump on this thing. Okay, put that away. You gotta like jump on this thing, and then you gotta pull yourself up here. There we go. Okay. So let's turn this in, see what we get. So we're at forty nine point one nine two. So we just turn them all in and see what see what do we get, and then we'll head back and I'll go over all the crap that we got loot wise. It had a little bit of a tragedy last night. Um, I decided to try to upgrade stuff, and it all went so very horribly. Okay, so we got about ten percent from that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. A little less than ten percent, but I'll take it. That's not horrible. Uh, but I had some. Uh, I had some tragedy, so my Asula's ring is gone. I broke that trying to go for try. I had like a 60, or I, no, I had like a 68, yeah, 68% chance, and I decided to risk it, and that ended horribly. So, yeah, now we have a duo red coral ring, which lowered my DP a little, I think. But, uh, yeah, we have red coral ring now, which is medium sad. But, yeah, I have the red coral ring and then i also broke my uh my turn grad earrings ton grad so those now run about um 72 million so i had to buy one and i was trying to make it pry and i had like an 80 percent chance of succeeding <laughs> and i failed and i was big sad about it and so yeah i lost the ton grad that i had and uh, he lost the one that I bought. So uh, it's a little bit of a sad time. It's a, just a little bit of a sad time. So let's go back to Altanova and I'll go over all the stuff I got. And we'll also be able to open up four of the uh, Jolly boxes for the event. Uh, and so I'll see you guys in a moment back in Altanova. And we're back. So here we are at the Central Market, and this is all of the different stuff that we were able to collect. So one of the big things, so we'll go over here so we can view prices. So one of the big things was this Black Magic Crystal of Agility. Uh, this goes for 1.4 million. There are other ones that I got from a previous farm there that uh, were that was 6 million. So there is better, but that's still pretty good. Uh, we got all of this Rosar gear. Now, this is not obviously all of the Rosar gear that I was able to acquire. I did throw away some so that I could keep farming before I brought my horse there for the final two hours. So a lot of this is like the final two hours of weapon drops, other than the plus 14s and stuff. So only 3 million, which in a vacuum is not terrible. Uh, it's plus 14, so I'm just going to sell them for the cheapest possible. Take a little bit of a loss. Uh, especially with like this plus eight just gonna take the loss and uh, get what money I can for them We also got 20 scrolls of written language now. This is pretty good uh, We got 1.1 million for this uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and sell these to uh, The people here I don't mind taking a little bit of a hit just to get the money instantly So we got nine million from that for sending for selling ten to that person we're going to sell 8 to this person. Uh, we got 7.5 mil for that. And we're going to sell our final 2 to this person. I'm always okay helping people out who have stuff on their wish list looking for it for a little bit cheaper. I don't really mind selling it to them. So we'll sell 6 for just under 900,000. Uh, so we'll get 4.5 million there. Uh, I'll go through and see which one of these I can actually sell and what I can't. 
Uh, we also got these Blackstone armors and weapons. Uh, I'm going to leave those there for now because I might actually need them. We also got an absolutely crap ton of Bashim mains. So we'll take a look at this real quick. So we have 3.9k on me. And then I have 8.6k in here. So I'm going to try to take out like... Let's see. If I put it in and then take it all out, will that work? No. Okay. Um... Should I take out 8,000? Can I take out 8,000 of it? 5,000 of it? Okay, so we'll take out 5,000. We'll go sell this, and then we'll come back and get the rest and sell it. So we'll move at snail speed to get over to where we need to get over to. But all in all, pretty good farm at Bashim's. I will definitely be back there. Um, I'll probably take a break for video's sake for a little bit before I go back there. But uh, before Akama Sylvia comes out, I will probably... I uh, have another video of that. So we went ahead and because it said your fuel lighter, we missed how much we sold that for, but we'll be able to check in just a second. So I'll sell those just to make my inventory a little bit lighter. Don't worry, I will not forget. I need to show you guys that skill, the hold A skill. Uh, so I'll show you guys that in a second. So we got 5.5 million for that, which is just absolutely amazing. I guess we have to take out 5,000 again. So we're going to get around like 13 million from this. So that's great. Just off of selling the mains and nothing else, I'm going to end up with about 13 million. So can't complain about that. That's that's really nice. Uh, just a free 13 million. Didn't need to rely on anything dropping that was good. Just straight up got that. And so I'm super happy about that. I didn't actually think it would be 13 million. Uh, but, uh, obviously, obviously I could do the math. It's like, yeah, it's 1100. Actually, we're going to probably end up, what is that? We're going to end up with like, is that 13 mil? 13 mil? 13 point like seven mil. Let's go ahead and sell this. Yeah, 2.8. So 13.8 million. That is not a bad haul for, uh, Bashim's 13.8 million just simply for free. That is pretty good, in my opinion. We'll currency exchange this right here. And that'll get sent to storage. And we have 14... Actually, I did my math wrong, because I can't add. Or no, I did it right. It was 13.8, and then we sold the 500, so it was 14.3. Yeah, 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 I was right. I was right. We also got a crap ton of Asula and Weekend Eye rings. But I don't have any Asula's rings, and I don't want to go farm Helms, because the experience at Helms is not fantastic. I also got this... It's only worth 11000 there, so I did also pick that up uh, from there. Uh, we got some e uh, Iona or Enoa, or however you want to say it, Iona. Um, we got three of these fragments. I'm not sure what to do with the or how many I need to do uh, to turn them in, because it says, it says uh, the Valencia accessories contain Enoa's fragments, or Yanoa's fragments, and it's it's a bunch of really good stuff. But then it says you can craft rare accessories with this item at level five jeweler houses, Alta Nova four five. So I might test that out and see exactly what that is. I have some contribution points, so I could do that. Now let's go ahead and hop into these boxes and see what we can get out of them. So I am interested. Go over to Simple Alchemy, pop these in, and confirm. So we're gonna make four of these. And hopefully, I would take four of the music boxes at this point. Just just give me four of the music boxes. That would is not going as planned. Uh, the four music boxes would uh, be... Would that be six million? I would definitely just take the six million. I, I, I understand that my luck with these is not going to change. I'm not going to all of a sudden start getting really good stuff. So just... We'll just meet in the middle game. Just give me the music boxes. I don't care. I don't care if the music boxes are, you know, I don't care that they're only worth 1.5 and there's stuff worth like 70 million in these boxes. Just give me the music boxes. It'll work out well. You don't have to give me anything crazy. It's just like 600k more than if I get a memory fragment and I have to go sell it. I'm pretty much, after my experience last night, I'm going to upgrade something because I have, what do I have on this character right now? I have an enhancement of 32, so something will be getting upgraded on this character, but uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but when I do it, 
I am going to upgrade one more thing, but last night really, you know, annoyed me. So I don't, I don't know how much more upgrading I'm going to do. Okay, we didn't get anything, but that, that could still be the music box. But it's going to be, it's going to be a good old-fashioned crone stone. Oh my gosh, I got what something they considered good, and it's not really that good. It's a sharp black crystal. So we didn't get anything. Oh, there we go. There's my music box. Thank you. And there's my memory fragment. Okay, well... One of these, one of these days, maybe if I open up enough of these, I'll get something halfway decent. But uh, not, not holding my breath. I mean, it's not terrible. The Crone Stone is pretty terrible. I hate getting the Crone Stones. I mean, they, they're good. They have, they have use, but I just don't like getting them. I guess. So, yeah, that was okay though. We got about 5.5 million because the Crone Stone I just have to keep. I can't sell it. If I could sell my Crone Stones, my opinion of Crone Stones would be different. But I can't sell them, so. It is what it is, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, just working on saving up money at this point so that we can upgrade gear. I think my goal before Kama, Sylvia, is to get my gear to 200, 250. I mean, I, I, I don't know if that's really possible, but 200, 250 is where we're at. That's that's my very lofty goal that I have set right now is 200 to 50. I'm hoping I can get there, but I'm not quite sure. So we'll see. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't. Once again, we're work. I'm working. I'm trying to get better. Trying to not RB spam and RT spam. One one of these days, one of these days, you guys will be proud of me when I'm not doing it anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way. Now we've been through the cold and darkest days. The summer's cold.